Hey, everyone. You know what's weird? I never made adjust the tips on the gloves of writing urgently. So, figured now as good as time as any, just got a huge rework and it's extremely different than what it used to be. I'm going to do my best to explain it in the most positive way without breaking into tears. So with all that said and done, let's dive right in. So, the gloves of writing urgently used to be one of the most used melees for heavy, right alongside the Fist of Steel. Before the Jungle Inferno update, the Gloves of Running Urgently had a slower holster time, less damage, and marked you for death when deployed. Now, this basically punished you if you were caught off guard, but allowed you to get to the front lines at the speed of any other lightweight class. It functioned as a utility that allowed the Heavy to negate his movement speed penalty at the cost of making him vastly more squishy if not used correctly. Now Valve, in all its wisdom, took this and removed any tactical thinking behind it. Rather than it marking you for death while you have it out, it now lowers your max HP by 3% each second you have it out, and it initially drops your HP by 20 when you first pull it out. Essentially, it still allows the Heavy to negate his movement speed at the cost of his tankiness, but now in a much more dumber version. Also, it is important to note that the rate at which it lowers your max HP is determined by the amount of HP you have when you pull this weapon out. Meaning, if you pull it out when you have max HP, you lose 10 health per second, but if you pull it out when you have like 50 HP, you lose like 2 health per second. Now, the old version of this weapon had this philosophy that if you pulled it out at the wrong time, you'll get obliterated, while the new version of this item favors a perpetual downside that isn't as significant when in the face of danger. What I'm trying to say is that before, this item had virtually no downside if there were no enemies near you. It gave you a speed boost and then you took a ton of damage when you ran into an enemy. However, this new philosophy is that you'll take a constant stream of damage regardless of the amount of enemies near you. This trade-off does come at a price though. When you use this weapon for a long distance, it will recharge 10 HP per second, and assuming that you have this out till it drops down to 100 HP, it will take 20 seconds for you to get into the fight, while the old version of this weapon took about 3-4 to four seconds for the marked for death to wear off. So with the old version, you could have it out for a longer time, and then wait 3-4 to four seconds and be good to go. Now how it works is it's like, the amount of seconds you have this out, add 2 seconds to that number, and that's how long it'll take to recharge, up to the maximum where it takes 20 seconds to recharge. So if you are intent on using this weapon as part of a rollout, I'd advise using this on maps that only have a short walk to the front line, because even in insanely long distances, any other melee is probably going to do you better. For a little test here, I decided to run the entirety of Snake Water from spawn to spawn using the Gru and then using the stock melee. Now, the thing with the Gru is once I got to the end point, I was going to wait to recharge all of my health, and then that was going to be how long it would take you to get from end to end with 300 HP. I sped up the footage in the background, but at the end it took about a minute and one second, give or take a few seconds for human error. With the stock melee though, I found this very interesting, is that it actually took 51 seconds, give or take a few for human error, but that's just insane to run the entire distance of snake water with the Gru, then wait for it to recharge, it's actually longer than just using the stock melee just to go from spawn to spawn. However, Valve did give this newer version a 1-up in one particular field. Going back to what I said earlier, this weapon takes a steady amount of damage despite however many enemies are near you at a given time, meaning that it is now much more viable to retreat with, because before this weapon would take an absurd amount of damage if pulled out when you're being shot at, it now doesn't apply any extra damage to the amount you've already taken, besides the steady amount of max health loss, but really that's not as punishing as being marked for death. So now it is effectively much more useful at getting out of an ugly situation where the older version would punish you for trying to retreat with it. Personally, I'm not a fan of this newer idea, because I tend to not retreat as heavy, either win the fight or die trying, and I feel like a lot of heavy mains think in a similar way. So this newer version of the weapon isn't thought of as fondly, because it favors a mindset that the majority doesn't really agree with. After all, what good is a weapon designed for retreating if you never have to retreat? Be sure to tell me how you feel about this weapon in the comments below. Do you like the new style, or do you miss being able to roll out somewhat effectively? As always, have a swell rest of your day, and... Peace out.